You are so depressed. Your boyfriend has probably already cheated on you and else he will if you keep going like this. You're going to commit suicide next year and your parents hate you. You're probably thinking that these things were said to me by bullies, but you're wrong. They were said to me by people of the amazing Church of Scientology. So yesterday I watched, um, shit, no, I just watched it. Um, I watched Going Clear, which is a Scientology movie slash documentary about Scientology and people that exited the Scientology church and that will speak up about it and a little bit more about um, Mr. Hubbard. Um, and I wanted to do my story, so my Scientology experience and stuff. Right, so there we go. So this summer vacation, I went to Los Angeles uh, for the World Championships of Performing Arts and um, the biggest part of the trip and everything was funded by my school because I would never have had the money to do that on my own or with my parents' help. I also got a lot of funding of people around me that were supporting me with that, so that was really great. And that was the only reason I was able to participate and to go there. So I was really watching like my money and I was really spending like as little as possible. Um, things there went kind of wrong, but that's a whole other story I might tell later because um, I was really sick and everything was just awful. So I was already feeling a little down and then after the first week we went to Hollywood for the second time and I already have seen I already seen the Church of Scientology there. And just a side note, uh, the first time I heard about Scientology was in South Park, so it wasn't the best first impression. But I was like, well, it can't be that bad, right? And uh, maybe I should have just looked it up or anything, but I wasn't thinking that it would be that crazy. Like, I know people talk about it a lot, that it's crazy, but I was like, I don't know. But it wasn't about to just go and walk in there, because, I don't know, I didn't feel like experimenting with it. But the second time we got there, um, we had kind of a long day there, and it was around seven i think and we walked by the scientology church and there was like 24 7 there were people outside like hey you want to do a free personality test you want to do for blah, blah, blah. and we were kind of bored and we really did have to eat though but my friends were like why not and i was kind of hesitant i was like mm, you sure and i don't know and uh and i should have just told them what i know about scientology but something in me just didn't do that <laughs> so I was like okay well whatever it can't be that bad right so we went in and it was like the atmosphere was so creepy like so fake and horrible <laughs> I mean it was really clean and modern and everything and everything and everyone was just like greeting each other so extremely polite like you're trying to impress your boss or anything and they're like hi how are you doing oh i'll take them from here robert i don't know what his name was so we walked with this guy and because we lived in holland we didn't have to put down our address like our home address so we were walking with this guy and we were just walking and walking and then he turns around and then he turns around and he's like if you could change anything about yourself like about your personality what would it be told them something about getting jealous and something about being a little insecure and wanting to stand up for yourself more and things like that so he was like okay okay so then we walked a little further and there was like this big hall with uh, chairs and tables and people working there and talking there with like um, people that come to Scientology a lot so they were all busy there and also like the e-meters is that what it's called? Like the things that measure your... I don't know what it was anymore. I'll put it somewhere in here. So that was all there and like a lot of workers and they were all so fake and... Ugh, they just give me the creeps. Like the creepy kind of dentist or something. So anyway, 
there weren't three spots together so they sat together and I sat part like a little bit away from them I was still close to them though so we had this personality test which was 200 questions it was like everything you could possibly ask someone and so many questions were so alike and oh, it was crazy it was things like your favorite this and your favorite that and what do you fear most and um, I don't know like everything like that so um, so we finished that test and I thought we were done and we could just go and they would run it through something and then be like oh your personality is this or oh your personality is that but no we got a um, an IQ test with like math problems and things like that you had 30 minutes to finish it and if you didn't finish it in 30 minutes then that would be like more information for them so you had like this little alarm clock thingy and they set it off and then I was like okay are we finally done and then no there was another test it was shorter though like the IQ test was about 50 questions, I think. I don't know, 20, 50? At least it took half an hour. And I was done. I finished it. Yes. And uh, then we had the other test, which was more like logical questions. It was about 15 questions, I think. It wasn't that long. And he put down the alarm clock, and he was like, when you're done, just click it so we know how long you took. And I did that, and I was like, I just really want to go now because I was hungry AF and um, <laughs> so I was sitting there and I was like I'm done and he was like okay well let me just take your test and blah 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 and just wait there and I was like waiting uh, in the couch in the couch on the couch there like some waiting room thing and I was just looking at my friends which weren't done yet they were at the second test I think when I was done like the IQ test and then this woman walks to me and she's like can you walk with me please and i'm like yeah okay sure so we go into this very secluded room like it was really small and compact there was just this big ass couch and a big flat screen tv and there was like i know is that like two meters between the tv and the couch and like the size of the couch was about the size of the room. So, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Um, but we were sitting there and she closed the door and um, she took out my results and she was like, oh. Let's take a look at your results and we can see that you're very intelligent and you have a lot of uh, potential and you're a very kind person, but you're very depressed as we can see here and it's not good and you want to live life to the fullest and blah, blah, blah. So we really need you to watch this now. Wait, what? I was like, yeah, but my friends will probably be done soon and then we have to go and we're gonna go eat. She was like, no, no. it won't take that long and your friends are still busy anyway and they said it's okay. Meanwhile, like, she never walked there to ask them anything, so I should have known by then, but I didn't, so I was like, okay, fine. So, <laughs> she puts on this documentary thingy, I didn't even know what it was, like kind of an introduction to Dianetics, which is their holy grail. And um, it said chapter one, and I was like, oh, so she's just gonna show me chapter one, and then she's probably going to offer me to buy like a DVD or something. But no, no, it was like up until chapter five, <sighs> chapter freaking five, and it took like I think half an hour, 45 minutes, something like that. So I was already sitting there now for about two hours, and I was hungry. And I was exhausted, and my body hurt from walking all day, and I was tired, and I was just done with it. So, the woman was peeking in if the thing was done yet, and she saw that it was done. So she came in with this guy, like this toothpaste smile guy. And she was like, this is, huh? I don't know what his name is, it doesn't matter. This is, this is And he is a Dianetics expert and he does the seminars and um, I need you to talk to him. And they blah, were blah, sitting blah. down with me, like both. And they were just asking questions about me and how I was feeling. So I was like, I'm, uh, my week has been kind of rough, but I'm okay. Like, I'm enjoying my time here, blah, blah, blah. 
And they were like, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying to yourself and you're very, very depressed and you don't feel good and that's why you need to do this seminar and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, bitch. No, but... <laughs> um, so they were talking to me like that and they were like, um, we can do a seminar and you can join and then you will help someone else and that other person will help you back and that's how it works and you get the book and blah blah, blah. and um, I was like no no I don't think I'm able to do it because I was only there for a week and I was not going to spend like half a day at that freaking thing and even pay for it because it was all kind of just like bullshit like I'm gonna be honest watching the documentary thing about Dianetics did get me like oh okay okay and maybe that kind of makes sense but it was all just so fake and I was like this won't help me for shit because if things like a psychologist and stuff don't even like get me to the best point then how could this and I just really didn't want to spend my money and I really didn't want to spend my time there so I was telling them no thank you no and I really have to go and no thank you I have to go and they were like well this Saturday or there will be a seminar and you should totally come and I was like no I'm sorry I I can't that day because of the competition. Your like, friends yeah. told us that you were able to come, so don't lie to us and don't lie to yourself because you're just holding yourself back. And I was like, like, no, and why would they say that? And they were like, yeah, they did, and um, they're signing up right now. I was like, are they? And I couldn't see because I was in that small freaking room. So um, then all of a sudden they got really violent and they were like, um, yeah, yeah well, your well, parents hate you, and if you keep going on like this, your parents will hate you even more, and they will kick you out of the house, and your boyfriend will cheat on you if he hasn't already, and he will leave you after that, and um, I'm sure your sister really wants you to go away, and she doesn't want to spend time with you, and she's just doing it out of pity. They just kept going and going, and it was crazy, and they were like, yeah. Well, well, if you keep going like this, then next year you're going to commit suicide, I'm sure of it. And I was like, what? What? And it was just so crazy to me and I was just standing there like... And they were standing in front of the door like kind of blocking my way. And then another person came like to the door because the door was like half open. And um, they were like... Is everything okay here? And do you need help with anything? And they were like, no, no, it's okay. Just stick around here. And I was like, don't stick around here. Go away. <laughs> and then they were like getting really mean like do you even have money with you and you just come here to waste our time and i was like i did like the dumbest thing i possibly could have done because i flicked out my credit card and i should not have done that i was like yeah of course i have this and i have my credit card and he's like oh that'll do and um this is just for the best and this is for you and oh you, you are gonna profit of this the most and it's all gonna be okay. okay and then the guy started walking away and the woman was still in there and i was like i need to i don't want this and she was like no it'll be okay and then she let me go like out of the room because the door was really small and i walked like I half ran behind him saying that I didn't want to do this and then I saw my friends sitting there like standing there and they were like are you gonna come and then they saw what was happening and they were like what's going on I was like pff, pff. I was so overwhelmed I couldn't even like I should have just said help me but it just I don't know what it was I was just so overwhelmed and because I was already feeling like shit and um I'm not the strongest kind of person. I just let it happen and I shouldn't have. And he was just like putting in my credit card and making me pay. And making me pay. <laughs> and he was like, no, don't chicken out and don't back down. And you should do this, it'll be for the best. I kept on going, like saying that, but I was like, I don't think this is for the best for me. This is for the best for you. <sighs> but I sat down there and I asked him first, can I get a refund? And he was like, Yes, you can, but I don't want you to chicken out now, just blah, blah, blah. I was like, what if I'm not able to go on that date? And he was like, yeah, then you can get a refund, but we can always just shift it around, and we're very flexible here. And I was like, I'm not even listening anymore. As soon as I heard that I can get a refund, I was like, okay. So I sat down, I put down my email and everything so I could get their email too, so I could email them that night. 
And then there was $100 taken away from my account, which was not very pleasant. <laughs> so then I was talking with my friends when we walked away and they were like, what was going on? So I explained it to them and they told me that they got to sit somewhere together, like not apart, but together. And I think if I'm right, they did have the thing with e-meters, but I'm not completely sure. Anyway, they were together and as soon as they started telling them like, oh, you should pay, blah, 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 they were already like, no, my bitch. And they're both kind of like stronger personalities than I am. Like out of us three, I'm probably like the weakest link. <laughs> I don't stand up for myself that often. And um, especially not when I was upset and that impressed, not really impressed, intimidated by everything. And... Uh, they were just like, no, we're not going to do this. And then they waited there. So I asked them, like, why did you tell them that I was able to go on the date? And they were like, we didn't. We told them that we weren't able to ever go here again. And that you weren't able either. And I was like, so they just straight up lied. Lied to our faces. <laughs> and it was just so weird to me that they would do that. Like, to even to young people that are like intimidatable and um, it was just so weird to me so that night I emailed them I can't come can I get a refund and they were really being pains in the asses for the refund they were like no, no we can't and you shouldn't check it out and it'll all be okay and maybe we can go another day maybe we can like transfer the money to uh, at yeah, the Dianet, Dianet, the Scientology Church in Amsterdam, and you can just have it there. And I was like, no, thank you. They were like, do you want a partial refund? Then you can still get the book. And I was like, no, thank you. And after a couple of emails, finally, they were like, okay, fine, we can get you a refund. So I was like, yes, getting a refund. And then they mailed me saying that the credit card refund thing was broken and it wouldn't work. And they tried it and tried it, but it did not work and they didn't know what was going on. So I was like, what so you're just this big ass company but you can't refund <sighs> so they were like we're just gonna send you a check so I was like okay fine so I came in Holland I came back in Holland and um, I checked the mail like every day <laughs> like I do normally and I think four weeks after I came back I got um, I got a letter from the Scientology Church so I was like, yay, my check. But no, it wasn't a check. It was a Dianetics pamphlet with things like... Hey, Denise, I don't know you, but I heard you were here in Los Angeles and I heard that you were a singer and I heard that you're from Holland. That's so cool. And I was like, I just really want my check. I just leave me the fuck alone. And they also kept emailing me how I was. And if I picked up um, Dianetics here in the... Dutch Scientology Church and they kept on going and going and going and going and going and going but in the end it'll all be okay like I'll have my money back and I'm highly recommending that you all don't go into the Scientology Church because it is awful and um, it was especially bad because I'm such uh insecure silent person and I'm easily easily intimidated so it was like hell for me and I came back and when I got to the hotel like that evening of the Scientology Church I was just bawling my eyes out I felt so guilty to my parents and to everyone that gave me money and I was like no like a hundred dollars is gone I was like a hundred dollars is a lot of money to me so I was like so sad and I was broken and I was like the fuck and I told like um, the leader that came there with the uh, world championships of our countries and she was like oh that's horrible and I hope it'll all be okay and uh, phew, it was hell so now recently I watched the going clear the Scientology documentary and I'm telling you that if you're in any way interested in Scientology but not the way as in I want to join Scientology but as in the way as in that's fucked up but I want to learn more about it like I kind of felt you should totally watch it like it's horrible what that man did and what the whole team of the church did and 
it was all just for money and like the longer I watched the documentary documentary the longer I watched the documentary the more I started to realize that South Park actually hit all the points like literally <laughs> actually if you've seen the South Park episode you know like pretty much everything about it you just have to know some more gruesome things that Mr. Hubbard did like kidnap his kid he kidnapped his daughter away from her mother and he told her that if she would leave him that he would either and he told her that if she would leave him he would kill her and that if she didn't marry him he would kill himself and was such a horrible person like honestly and I don't understand that to this day people are still joining even though that everything about them like all the bad things are out there I just don't I don't get it but maybe that's just me so that was my Scientology story I went to say church that was my Scientology story and um, it was horrible and please 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 don't don't go there maybe just for fun but then you have to be a strong person because I'll still break you but otherwise don't go there just don't and um, watch the documentary and that was that so I'll see you guys later okay goodbye what was that